Um, sensor devices are becoming cheaper and cheaper. What would hap what is happening is um, now we have devices which we can connect them to networks. And these devices are becoming smaller, more efficient in terms of communication, in terms of the energy battery consumption. And that allows us to deploy devices around our living environment, uh, monitor ambient um, data. At the same time, wearables are becoming more and more uh, popular, widely available. Um, they are not really medical devices, but they allow us to monitor citizens around the clock. They can collect data, which in the past you needed to go to the hospital. For example, now you can collect ECG information using a, a relatively cheap device. Maybe it's not as accurate as a medical device would have done it, but sometimes you, you just need to provide uh, some initial information to your um, carers, to your clinicians, to be able to make some quick decisions and then based on that to follow up. Uh, what Tim is trying to do is trying to look at these devices which are widely available. Um, usually they are cheap, you can deploy them in large scale and try to uh, deploy them in elderly care and for people with dementia, trying to help their carers, their family members, um, their doctors and their uh, people themselves to be able to have uh, monitoring data um, uh, around the clock and information that can help them to live better, their family to have more assurance or to be able to provide better care and support. Same time, um, allow carers, clinicians to provide more effective care and support and to make, to make better and more informed decisions. Uh, what happens is often people live alone in their house and uh, they don't have to access to 24 hour uh, care uh, services or there is uh, no one living with them to 24 hours to look after them. Often having these devices allows us to uh, monitor people's movements, people's day to day uh, routine and these devices can collect that data, analyze it if they find any unusual patterns or anomalies they can then inform the family members, carers, emergency units or clinicians depending on type of the data we collect, the type of patterns we detect. The current market is usually you buy one application, one sensors and it's connected to the one interface. Um, but often the value comes when you start connecting different bits of information, different pieces of information together. If you collect my daily routine of movement, then you combine it with my heart rate, my body temperature, my anxiety level, different pieces of information from my living environment to temperature, light. And you might be able to extract better information, better understanding of how uh, I live, how I go about my day-to-day -day life. Uh, what Tim is trying to do is trying to get uh, different solutions which are provided by our technology partners. We have um, 10 of them, get their devices, get the information, they collect the analysis they do, but connect these pieces of information together and provide a holistic view of uh, 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 people we monitor or our volunteers who get involved in this project. Uh, we will create um, systems for integrating data, creating common languages between these devices to be able to talk to each other, uh, we'll develop uh, machine learning techniques to be able to extract information, what we call an actionable information uh, from the raw data, monitoring data we collect, and then we'll create uh, interfaces to share this data with different care groups, family members, clinicians, and we'll provide security and privacy mechanisms to make sure this information uh, sensitive data are, are uh, and they are not common to people's privacy.